What's going on everybody? It's Tim from Galpin Autosports. My position here is a sales manager, but I'm also the truck and off-road specialist. I've been here for about eight years, and when we're working here at Galpin Autosports, we see so many cool cars and trucks and off-road vehicles that when we get to work on our own vehicles, it's really special. So today, I'm presenting you with my daily driver, my 2020 Ford F-250. This vehicle was purchased at Galpin Ford. It's a 2020 Ford F-250 diesel. All the customization was done in-house here at Galpin Autosports. I'm really excited about it because I really needed a vehicle that handled uh, a multitude of things, uh, adventurous things like kayaking, mountain biking, off-roading. It tows a trailer uh, with a side-by-side -side in it, as well as my camper trailer, toy haulers. It's got an immense amount of capability. And where was I going with that after? And to get through the list of parts that we installed, let's start with the most important aspect of the build, the suspension. So what you see here is a five and a half inch Carly pin top system that's been fully optioned with everything that Carly has to offer. Uh, these trucks really, uh, when they ship from the factory, they're meant to do one thing and that's tow. And when you have a truck that only tows, they set up the suspension to be really stiff. We have a shop truck here at the office and it's got stock suspension. I can really feel the difference when I get into my personal truck. These Carly systems are bar none the best that you can get. They ride supple and soft on the road. And when you take them off road, if you have the pin top, they can really absorb a lot bigger hits. Uh, this system that I have with the options I have, I have the Carly torsion sway bar. That really benefits you when you're going in and out of driveways because the cab doesn't rock side to side as you enter and exit the driveways. I've also got the fabricated radius arms, which have adjustable caster. When you install those, the truck tracks so straight down the freeway. I can pull a trailer down the freeway with one finger on the steering wheel. As you move back towards here, you can take a peek at the Carly uh, fabricated radius arms along with the radius arm drops that come with the five and a half inch kit. And as you come to the rear suspension, I've also got the same King two and a half inch shocks with the Carly progressive leaf springs. And in order to retain the towing capability of the truck, I have the Carly long travel airbags as well. On the ground, we've got 38 inch by 13 and a half inch Nitto trail grapplers. I've put them on 17 inch method double standard rims in bronze. I really like the 17 inch uh, rim size because it gives me the most compliant ride on the road, as well as gives me the best performance off road. Coming up to the front of the truck, this truck started life as an XLT with a chrome package. I really wasn't fond of the chrome myself. I like the color match. So Galpin Autosports actually tore apart the entire front end. We removed the finish from any part that was painted and painted over the chrome, as well as applied a Expel paint protection film on top of the painted parts to ensure that none of my painted chrome chips in the future. Up front, we've also got the Morimoto XB LED headlights. That way I could divert from the factory halogen headlights that really weren't giving me the performance I needed. I also installed the uh, factory LED fog lights from a Tremor package, which had a spot for me to add these uh, flush mounted Baja Designs S2 Pros. While those are great and it's a ton of light, I still needed more. So I went up to these uh, Baja Designs LP4 uh, as we move back, you'll see I still have some uh, more painted parts. Things like the mirror caps, the badges, the door handles. These were all chrome parts that Galpin Autosports was able to uh, get me the style I was looking for by removing the chrome trim. Truck definitely needs a tonneau cover. I put a tonneau cover on every single truck I own. And through all of the trucks that I've gone through, what I've found is these Retrax XR model tonneau covers that have these rails for additional crossbars are excellent. Back here in the rear of the truck, I also installed some Baja Designs S1 lights. These are in the work scene pattern. And my purpose for these lights wasn't for reversing or anything like that, but I tow a lot of trailers and sometimes I'm connecting and disconnecting those trailers at night. And I wanted lights that are gonna work really well in this illuminated area right here. And I needed it for hooking up the trailer, checking out the, the scale on the side of my way safe hitch. And that helps a ton, especially when you're in the dark desert unloading a toy hauler. Uh, coming up here, you'll see I have a Retrax tonneau cover. That tonneau cover covers up. These are pad and fab bed supports. When you're going hard in the desert, sometimes you can get a little bit, bit of bed flex. 
and these bed supports actually let me preload the bed sides so that the bed sides aren't flexing on me as I'm going down the trail. As you can see, I've got my 38 inch spare tire in the bed. They no longer fit under the truck, unfortunately, but I know Carly has a fix coming for that with their trophy hitch, but I'm okay with it being in the bed. And with it being in the bed, I actually repurposed the factory spare tire mount underneath to hold a spare that fits all of my different trailers. I really like to think I maximize the utility of this truck. Uh, it really does a lot for me, but what's utility without comfort? And for me, things that make the truck more comfortable and make it better for day-to-day -day use as well as long trips would be things like my amp power steps. My amp power steps, if you open the door, make it a lot easier for me to get into the vehicle, especially with the five and a half inch lift and 38s. Now, below the amp power steps, you may notice I've got a little bit of underhang here, which is uh, from my Titan 55 gallon fuel tank. I tow a lot between various states and to be able to take less brakes when the truck's not getting the greatest fuel economy from towing a big trailer is really, really a huge deal for me. Continuing with comfort, uh, as you go into the interior, you'll see I actually have a Raptor steering wheel from a Gen 2 Raptor with working paddle shifters, which is really nice. You're towing a grade and you wanna drop a gear, I just hit the paddle. I don't have to put it down in manual mode and flip the little buttons on the console shifter. My race radio that I've got up on the dash really helps when we're off-roading for car-to-car -car communications, as well as when we go out into the desert and play with our side-by-sides. If my buddy's out miles away from camp, I can radio to him with my truck and see how far away from camp he is and see if he's ready for dinner. I'm really, really, stoked on this truck. This is a truck I'm going to keep for a long time. I'm so uh, prideful in this truck and I'm really happy that Galpin Autosports was really able to make me make this truck happen for me. And that really wraps it up for this F250 build with the comfort, uh, utility, and performance upgrades that we've done. I really hope you enjoyed this walkthrough and we'll see you next time.